Grandpa Newby reporting for duty. And I can announce once more that life has gotten a little bit better because the season four, week seven challenges have dropped. And I think the Jack Gunslinger, the reward at the end of the rainbow there, the pot of gold is worth going for. But first, let's see how we get there. Challenges aren't all that difficult. I use three weapons, the Renetti for all of the pistol challenges, and there are a lot of them this time. So I put the Jack Ferocity carbine kit on the Renetti to get things like the headshots and the clean kills and those sorts of things. And then I took that off and went akimbo to get the rest of it. You only need to get five of these challenges, by the way. Then I used the Horus with the Jack Scimitar kit on it as instructed to do the flying Gax. And then finally the KVD Enforcer to do the Iron Sight Marksman Rifle Gax. Now, you may or may not have to do what I had to do, but once I had all seven completed... The kit didn't show up for the Basilisk. It's only for the Basilisk. So I had to back out of Call of Duty, restart it, and then it showed up. Everything was fine. In the meantime, an update has come in, so maybe they cleaned that up. But let's take a look and see what the Jack Gunslinger does for us. First of all, you notice a lot of red in the damages. 52% on the damage all the way down. It's because it's now a 357 Magnum. The good news is, though, you get eight rounds in the thing. And your reload quickness increases slightly. The effective damage range goes down a bit, 24%, a little more than a bit. But I found that I didn't have any difficulty getting long shots. Recoil is controlled. And speaking of recoil, let's take it into the shooting range and see what it does. And I'm just pulling one shot at a time. I'm not trying to do a fast kill here. I'm going to go ahead and reload because... You do have eight rounds in it, and it's three, whoop, 357. Whoa, that doesn't seem... That's interesting. Only three shots, though. All right, let's look at the recoil. First, hip fire. Works its way up just a little bit. What about ADS? Works its way up and to the right. So we'll look and see if we have that in the game. Up and to the right... ADS, one more time, hip firing, not quite as bad. All right, well, let's look at the rest of the numbers. The rate of fire is significantly improved, 34% up at 400 rounds per minute, bullet velocity at 405 roughly meters per second. Look at the accuracy though on the hip fire. This is gonna be a hip fire beast. I'm fully expecting a lot of hip fire gax. The mobility is outstanding with it. ADS movement speed is good at 3.8 meters per second, so you can bounce off the walls like a freed electron, no longer in its orbit. ADS speed, 206 milliseconds. You'd expect faster out of a pistol, but you uh, get what you get. Sprint to fire is phenomenal at 60 milliseconds. Take a look at the rest of the configuration. Now you'll notice right away, and I'll go straight to it, I use the 10 and a half inch F-TAC arrow barrel. And what that did is it gave us back our range, but I really didn't care about the range or the movement speed. Yeah, it hurts the ADS speed a bit. In fact, 50%. I just thought it looked cool. If I was going to be called a gunslinger, I wanted a weapon that looked like the kind of weapon that a gunslinger would carry. That's the only reason why I put that on the weapon. So now on the negative side, gunslingers wouldn't have a Cronin Mini Pro sight, but I intended on some long range engagement. So I had extra slots. I put it on along with the Soro 99 grip that helped a little bit with the ADS speed and significantly with the sprint to fire. It hurts the recoil, but grandpa's already said, I don't experience the same recoil in the fight that I do in the numbers, and in the shooting range. So let's take the Basilisk, the Gunslinger. Let's turn ourselves into a Wild West Gunslinger on the field of honor and see how it does for Grandpa and what it did for Grandpa's enemies. Let's go. All right, let's go hunting with the snake, the Basilisk. Really, really smooth. And you can see that the recoil is not as bad as it seemed in the shooting range. It seems to recenter itself, so I wonder if that's a problem with recoil in general. 
There's a chance for a long shot? No. Very accurate. Very accurate weapon. And it's... It just feels smooth. I did a video on the snub nose basilisk, and at the higher caliber, it just seemed like you hit a hand cannon. With this, it just seems, like I said, just really smooth. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> you got to change to the jack decimator. Two jacks, pair of jacks on this map, and for the other map. But it has a fast fire rate, and it packs a punch. One issue that I found with it was that it does, yes, have eight rounds in it. Takes about three and a half seconds to reload. Seems I always pull the trigger a minimum of three to five times, so I mostly only had one kill in it. I don't know if Grandpa just lost control of his finger or what, or maybe i trying to put out as many rounds as I can. There we go. Where is he? Ha! Got the sniper. There is a long shot. And you can see that it just worked wonderfully. Just smooth, little recoil. Let's see if we can get that guy. Nope. He headed for the hills. Got an iron back on the team their team there's a chance for a long shot we got one and then grandpa bought the farm uh, that guy's already been gacked what do we got a transformer on our team where is this guy headshots are deadly now with a normal basilisk without the jack gunslinger a headshot's going to be a one-shot kill, but this is not a one-shot kill. you got to get them twice. You can also beat people with it. They got some kind of lavender guy on their team. This guy in a white snowsuit. Dr. Doom. Also, if you're looking at the Basilisk as a primary weapon, like I semi was going to do that guy's periwinkle that's a color according to my wife she probably will tell me that's the not periwinkle though oh, oh grandpa gets the gacaroonie there's periwinkle and dr doom so i was talking about using it as a primary weapon thing about it is is you better have time to reload it so I use quick grip gloves and the jack decimator. I don't even know who gacked me there. There's Dr. Doom and there's his twin brother. Yeah, those guys were rushing so much. I mean, <laughs> that guy was hiding. I had a Muppet hiding behind the steel door. Yeah, the other team was rushing so much that I expected them to say Nyet or Nostrovia, just rushing everywhere. But in any case, uh, that's why I put out the proximity mines. Some people ask me why I use proximity not mines in 6v6. Well, what they do is they slow people who are just rushing willy-nilly down. There, Dr. Doom takes one in the Naga. Let's see if we can get that guy over the head glitch. Looks like we did. Yeah, I don't see the recoil. And I've asked people to comment on re recoil before. Do you, if you haven't heard that, the comment that I'm looking for is, do you think that there's another head glitcher? Got him. Do you think that the recoil that's shown in the stats and that you see on the in the shooting range is the same as the recoil that you get when you're in the match? Let's see what we got here. Oh, there's somebody there. That's going to be the last GAC. Overall, it is a fun weapon. It's worth doing the challenges. They're reasonable. They're fun. Please like and subscribe. Hey, there's more Get Higher map action after the F4 pops at shoot. Cheers and peace to you. And stay tuned for the next map.
taking Bravo. Alpha. Objective Charlie secure. Mosquito standing by. We've secured the lead. Mosquitoes deployed the remote turret. Mosquitoes launched the cruise missile. Enemy is securing Charlie. Objective Alpha is compromised. Securing Objective Bravo. We control Bravo. Objectives. Objective Charlie secure. Securing Objective Bravo. Objective Bravo secure. We're securing Charlie. We're taking Bravo. We're taking Alpha. We're losing Charlie. We control Alpha. Hostile Mosquito is online. Objective Charlie is compromised. Get securing Objective Bravo. Hostile SAE, near your position. We control Bravo. Hostile cruise missile, incoming. We're taking Charlie. We're losing Alpha. We hold all objectives. Do not lose control. Enemies taking Alpha. Enemies securing Bravo. We're losing Alpha. Enemies securing Charlie. Objective Bravo is compromised. We're taking Bravo. Mosquito is online. Enemies taking Bravo. Enemies taking Alpha. Objective Bravo is compromised. Get it back. Securing Objective Bravo. Securing Objective Bravo. Objectives are under our control. Objective Charlie is compromised. Get it back. We're losing Alpha. The mission is complete. Good work.